galactic slash streetwalker look from the Dollar Tree. We're already balls deep, ladies. Welcome back to my bathroom. My name's Brittany, and today we're doing a full face of Dollar Tree makeup. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and like. I'm here for you every single week, twice a week, and don't forget to join me on Sundays for Sunday service. Join me. Quick disclaimer. I really don't know much about makeup, but I know a lot about the Dollar Tree. I will link below the ones that are available on Amazon. Obviously, most of this stuff isn't gonna be a dollar on Amazon, but all this stuff was a dollar at my local Dollar Tree. To start, we're gonna prime our face, and there really wasn't many options for primer, so we're going with LA Colors Smoothing Face Primer in green, which neutralizes redness. Oh, that's nice. That is some thick ass shit. I can appreciate that. Oh, ring finger around the eyes. That's something you guys did teach me, which I'm really grateful for. Like all the stuff I've learned so far having this YouTube channel, mainly stuff that I didn't even know about myself. Like, whew, some of you really just beat me down. But anyway, a few of you taught me that the ring finger does not apply pressure or as much pressure as your other fingers. So it's more delicate around the eyeballs. Who knew that? I'm not like a super fan of this primer. Layer one to the cake. For our foundation, we have LA Colors Liquid Makeup. For reference, this is in Creamy Beige. They did have beauty balls there. I didn't get any because I have so many, but I'm glad to see that those things are finally affordable because do y'all remember when that brand came out, whatever the name brand of those was? was is was is was was uh what the beauty ball whatever but it was like twenty dollars for a sponge no thanks the foundation is actually pretty nice it's very lightweight kind of fluffy is the word i would use let's do my specialty contouring we have this la colors contour stick this is in dark oh there's more in here, Dollar Tree. I thought it was just gonna be the tip, ladies. He's a grandstander. Well, my nose is crooked again. That's okay. Uh, yeah. This pencil is nice, but it's like a pencil. It's got a very sharp tip. I like more of a fat guy. So we can just do one and done. We don't have to do all this shit, all this coloring and stuff. Yeah. Where else? Okay, right here is a good spot. Hmm. Perfect. Now for our other contour stick, we have also LA Colors. This is in light. So this goes right here. I'm really doing a bad job at that. Okay, don't forget the three little chicken feet thing. Yeah, this could be lighter. That's okay though. We'll just do one of these. Like, just have fun ladies. We don't need to get technical about this makeup jazz. Then we just tappy, tappy, tappy to blend that in and don't worry because we're gonna go back and do it again oh actually hello that actually looks pretty nice do you see that oh what the hell i had stuff in my nose why didn't you say anything what the hell now that we don't have to wear a mask or whatever i didn't really mind the mask because it covered up my nose and i have this thing where i always have shit in my nose like <laughs> i mean mainly snot the problem with that is nobody tells me not like it's their responsibility but if I see a stranger and they have bats in their cave, I'm gonna do a little tap on the shoulder and be like, hey, Brenda, you have bats in your cage. Um, nobody ever does that to me. They literally just laugh in their brains to themselves and then I get in the car and it's like, oh, f I have bats in my cave. And then you have to spend about 30 minutes recalling every interaction you've made with up your nose but with a mask you didn't have to do that put a hat on put a mask on you're a solid 10 sister do a little blending on the gobbler back to this hairline blending how's that look looks the same they did not have any setting powder in my skin tone all they had was really dark powder so i'm gonna be using my own it celebration illumination celebration foundation I to you. Whatever the fuck. You know, the girl with the commercial with the really red skin and then she starts putting it on. And I'm like, God, guys, did you know that my skin went from this to that? And for only $1,049 a month, yours can look like this too. You know that infomercial? Here we are. Oh, oh yeah. 
I had my favorite snacks. These are sugar-free chocolate candies with um, coconut. I love these, but you can't eat the whole bag because sugar-free stuff makes you use the bathroom on yourself, but sometimes I just eat the whole bag because why not? So good. They didn't have any eyeshadow primer or any kind of really white stuff to do this like clown makeup that I normally wear. Uh -uh. But they did have Conceal Correct Illuminate Features Highlighter by LA Colors. Oh, okay. The directions on this thing say to put this on and then put concealer over it because that makes a lot of sense. It does have like an iridescent glow, which I hate. I don't really care for shiny things because my face is already oily. So shiny like glitter and this kind of whatever this is called makes it look oilier, oilier, more oily. Makes it look like I produce more oil. Today's inspiration is Dollar Tree Purple People Eater. So I've got some really nice purples, but we're gonna start with this white. And this is by Hard Candy. It's called Single and Loving It, not 420, 520 Flirty Shade. We're gonna be pairing that with this Wet n Wild brush. I got this from the Dollar Tree a while ago. So this is really nice. This is kind of like a party. Really getting just crazy right now because we're gonna do like this purple galactic look. Is that the word galactic, like alien? Yeah, galactic. I'm gonna hop in my spaceship and get the fuck up out of here. Okay, we're gonna have to tone this down a little bit before I do my brows. So we have some bronzer and guys, look at this. Hard candy fox in a box. Cute is this. This looks just like, what's that brand that has all the cute boxes? Benefit. Whoa, what the hell? That smells really good. This one's called Party Girl Marbleized Bake Bronzer. Vegan. So I'm just gonna do a little layer over here so we can kind of tone down the sheen. All right, let's do these brows. Oh shit, hang on. Excuse me, can we stop this? Because they got new candles. What? Look at this nice cone shaped Jesus candle. Normally they come like this, these altar candles, but now they have them in this cone shape if you want to get extra spiritual. Look at his little toe. Oh my God, look at his toe. I see you pointing that little toe and look at holy shit, look at his gold medallion. Tell me the Lord wasn't stacking coins, please. I don't think that's the Lord though. Oh, this is San Judas. This is also San Judas, but this one has brown eyes and this one has blue eyes. Also, this one has coins. This must be some sort of like special candle. One dollar. Put that right there. Okay, back to the brows. We have this brow pencil by LA Colors. This is in dark blonde. It's kind of a weird color. It's got like a green tint to it. For our eyeliner, they had a bunch of different eyeliners. They had a ton of pencil liners. I use liquid liner because the pencil liner smears when you cry, so I just stick to liquid. This is LA Colors Eye Marker in black with a slim felt tip. Ooh, like that. It has a little movement to it. <sighs> okay, we're gonna have to do a really elongated wing because this eyeliner sucks dicks, okay? It does not work really well. It also drags a lot. That looks really bad. I'm just gonna match the other side. Oh, what the hell? Okay, this stuff sucks bad. So let me just say that we're doing the galactic look, but now because of the suckage of the eyeliner, it's gonna have to be an evening galactic look. The first eyeshadow palette we have is LA Colors Sunset Break. This LA Colors, is this like a Dollar Tree brand? I don't know. We're gonna use this cheap brush I got on Amazon and use this like mauve purple. Oh, whoa. And we're gonna drop this off. Okay, we got a lot of dust residue. That's fine. Enjoy the process. That's what I tell myself with makeup, just enjoy it. Like, if you already know the outcome, that it's probably gonna look like shit, why are you stressing? Just enjoy this, this is fun. This is like paint by numbers or some shit. Every time it's different, it's never the same and nobody knows what it's gonna look like. 
We really gotta hide that wing though. We're gonna blend it with this Wet n Wild Limited Edition Mega Go Brightening Rocks. I don't really know what these are, but it's just a bunch of rocks and shit. How cool is that? I'm gonna take some of this brown because we're in a evening look again and kind of somehow conceal that terrible wing job. And we're just gonna blend this. Just keep going. Your makeup is so beautiful. Whoa, we're past the brow now. Okay, we're just gonna have to bring it all the way up to the brow. Brown here. Now I will say this eyeshadow is good enough, but it does leave a lot of residue. Let's go back in with some of these damn rocks and give it a swirl and a twirl, if you know what I mean. And just do that. Purple Turple and just dust it on here. We're at the point of no return looking batshit, so just get silly with it. Just get silly with it. Uh, we need to do some refining, so we're gonna go back in with some of this foundation for round two. Oh, shh. Whew, that's a little much there, dear. Now we're gonna go back in, what? Oh my God, my crayon fell out of my stick. Okay, we're gonna go back in with the contour part and redo that. We're still looking like we're going to crazy town. That's fine, we're gonna fix it, but we're gonna put on some mascara. They had Wet n Wild Lash Renegade, never tried it, but I'm so excited. Take my money, that is so cool. Flexible, and it has a little ball on the end of the shaft. Great idea. Okay, this is gonna take a while. Definitely not the best mascara. Give that an F plus. I feel like they made that for the Dollar Tree because there's nothing in the tube and it's really dry. We're gonna go through and highlight this. We have Hard Candy Instant Sparkle All Over Sparkle Drops and Dazzling Coconut. Woo, that is sexy. So I'm gonna take this, whatever kind of brush this is, also from the Dollar Tree. Okay, that is some shiny stuff. We're just gonna go for a shiny look, obviously. Put it all over your face. Oh, whoopsie. Whoopsie doopsie. Okay, so we're gonna put the sparkle drops here, which I'm now regretting. How do we fix our mistake with more foundation? We're gonna put some more powder over that. So I don't know about those coconut drops. That seems to be maybe for my body. Back in with some of this. Bring it downtown to the eyeballs. To fix this, I'm probably just gonna have to extend all this junk out. And we'll take these little rocks again, get that purple one, and we're gonna go way out here with that puppy. Way out here, because we've messed up so much, we're gonna have to go into kinda like the fantasy look. Nothing wrong with that. So a nice, alien-like extension of lavender all the way to the hairline. Back in with our liquid liner to kind of give ourselves a second shot at fixing that. Back in with our bronzer. Again with the gobbler, don't be shy. Now for our lipstick, we have Vivid Matte Liquid. This is by Maybelline in shade 15 or Pink Charge. Very pink, but we're gonna cover it up with this Hard Candy Pumping Serum Flashers. This is in shade Jolt. So it's definitely a weird color. So what I'm gathering is that Dollar Tree must get all the duds, the crazy colors that nobody wants. So now we just need to finish the bottom of our eyes and this mascara sucks so bad. Okay, so we're just gonna use this Great Lash Maybelline, which is not from the Dollar Tree. This is like $4.99 from Kroger. Oh yeah, 
we're getting somewhere. But we're gonna definitely need some mascara for this look because that's how we're gonna cover up basically all this mistake. This is definitely an evening look. Also, like, great for the bar. <laughs> I don't drink anymore because I have no self-control and I didn't have like a problem or anything. It's just like a self-realization of why would I do that to myself? But I mean, I drink occasionally. Like actually yesterday I drank. I had some wine yesterday. Actually I had a really good glass of wine. It was a can of wine. It was called Day Drinking by some country person, music star. And it was watermelon rosé and it was really good. But anyway, I used to drink a lot when I was younger and I, we would go out with my friends, you know, like what, a, what the fuck else are we gonna do? And anytime we would get ready, we would do the bar light test, which means you get ready in regular lights and then you turn all the lights off and flick on a lamp and that's what you're gonna look like in the bar. So if you look scary as hell, in the daylight, the regular bathroom light, honey, just flip a switch, turn on that lamp, you're gonna be looking golden. Till the bar lights come on and they're like, last call, last call. Whew, we got a lot of makeup on. Let's, now this is just some final touches, just get a little bit of highlighting. I mean, I don't know how much we can compact on here, ladies. Or is it, yeah, it's pretty bad, isn't it? And I think that's like the best that we can do, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my lip gloss is already all the way down my face. Let's just take this out. You know what this looks like? Uh, this looks like a 1990s Pjorn cover. It looks like I'm, I'm about to do something I shouldn't be doing in the 90s. Or it looks like I'm about to light up a fat pack of cigarettes. So I don't think that I quite look galactic like in my head that I looked. I was going for this really futuristic look. I actually aged myself about 10 years and I kind of look like, uh, I don't know, an elevated slut. Most of this stuff, not great. I do like these rocks. I do like this bronzer. I don't like this hard candy all over sparkle. Actually, it might look cute if you put it on these. Like sometimes I put sparkles on these, like what are these called? These are called collar collarbones. These collarbones. Sometimes I jazz up my collarbones and um, I don't really know why. Okay, bad idea. Definitely negative on the mascara. This is actually less than shit. This is just, this should not exist. Oh, and I forgot. I got Dr. W this really nice squeaky toy. It's a, what is this? A hedgehog? Close your eyes. It's a surprise. What do you think it is? All right, ladies, gentlemen, hey, zays and gays. Thanks again for joining me here in my bathroom. I can't wait to see you on Sunday. We are doing part two to unnecessary shit. Or we don't need it, or you don't need it, or whatever that one's called, but shit you don't need. Okay, we're doing part two to that. So I hope you'll join me. Make sure you subscribe and like. I will see you next week for something cool. Something cool. You see that, doctor? That's Judas. Pass the scrimps. Add to the collection plate. Judas Priest. It is easy to look like a slut for under $10. Like Ruger floats, what? You point that toe. Sky, the sky is falling. Everybody's trying to grab the cloud.